Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and welcome to another how-to tutorial on the Camsys Magic Q PC. In this episode, we're going to be covering creating and using multiple effects at the same time. Let's begin. All right, so in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create multiple effects and be able to layer them together to make different looks using the same, um, basically, uh, layers. Um, so what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and start out with the intensity and the colors. So um, on this look, um, I'm going to select my par cans and I'm going to head and add an effect. I'm going to color. Let's do RGB snap. All right. So now I'm just going to just change the times on that so I have a little bit of a quicker look. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring up base. So what I can do here is um, I'm just going to put them on just blue. Uh, i do a lighter blue. And I'm going to put a color or a uh, gobo on there. And I'll just focus that gobo. Alright. So now that I have the look I want, um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. So you hit record, and then you hit the, uh, the select, and that saves it into that cue bank. Um, so now that I have that done, I'm just going to clear that out, and I'm just going to bring this up. So as you can tell, everything is exactly how I left it, but this time, I'm going to hit my phantoms. And um, I'm going to change my positions to, let's say I'll move it over. Move it over here. All right, so now that I have that done, I am going to go ahead and add an effect. So I'll hit effects, add effect, add a position, and I will add a square. Let me change my size down to 30, my time 0.75. So as you can see, I created a movement effect, but I didn't touch any of the other effects. This is very important when you're layering effects, um, as you could have some issues with uh, the lights not responding how you want them to respond. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit record, and then I'm going to hit save. All right. So now, if I clear that out, I should be able to go. Whoop, and there you go. I have a movement effect. So, what if you wanted to have a different movement, of movement, a moving effect? Well, you can just bring up a different cue. There you have a different moving effect, or you can stack the moving effect inside the cue bank. What if I wanted a different color? Well, I can just bring up the color effect. So as you can see, you can kind of um, you can build a bunch of different effects and layer them together. You can have different sets of lights that you can fade in and fade out. Um, you can have strobing effects. Um, you can have a bunch of different kinds um, of looks that you can create. So I mean, you can bring in anything that you have. And basically, you're only you're only really limited by your creativity. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments on what you've seen in this video, please feel free to leave it in the comments, and I will do my best to uh, respond. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. 
Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure to hit the icon above me. If you want to see more amazing videos, check the links over here. See you in the next video.